so I might just go back to um, talking about some of the events that um, that are being highlighted um, on various dates that are coming up. So this final blood moon of this final tetrad, seven years after this tetrad of blood moons here. So this final blood moon here is coming up in November. That's this here on the 8th of the 11th, which just happens to be the date of the US election. So I follow a lot of the Patriot channels and a lot of the citizen journalism and a lot of the alternative news and you know there's lots of different websites out there. A lot of them are speculating, some of them are even saying they've got intel that the, the US election will not go ahead. I don't know where they're getting their um, information from. but it's possible that something is going to happen um, that will trigger an attack or an invasion. So the prophecies warn, and I haven't really got to this, but the prophecies warn that there's going to be an attack from the northern nations. There's going to be the northern nations are going to um, join together and we're seeing that happen now, China and Russia joined together, coming down on the Western nations, coming down on America, coming down on the UK. Russia has um, declared war on the West. And, um, and there's going to be not only attacks, but there is going to be an invasion. There's going to be boots on the ground. There's going to be martial law. There's going to be hard lockdown. This is what I'm trying to warn people about. So when this Sunday law comes along, we have been warned. We have been told um, through from Jesus, through Ellen White, that the Sunday law is going to trigger hard lockdowns that people will not come out of. Hard lockdowns on the cities. I know that's a lot to take in. Um, and so I'm giving an urgent warning now to everybody to consider this, your plan B, um, to make your plan B now and make your effort to get out of the cities and relocate if you can to the mountains, if not to the country areas, as high up as you can go and, um, and get out of the cities because very soon there's going to be attacks, there's going to be invasion, there's going to be hard lockdown. So uh, the book of Joel actually describes this. So I'm going to read the words because they, I don't know, they really kind of grip your soul and you really kind of get the message. So it says, blow the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let everybody tremble for the day the Lord comes. It is near at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess, clouds and thick darkness. And it talks about this mighty army that comes down on the land. And this army actually sounds like an army of robot soldiers. Because it says, they run like mighty men and climb the wall like men of war. They march everyone on his own way, on his way, and they will not break their ranks. One will not thrust another, and they'll walk everyone in his path, and when they fall on the sword, they will not be wounded. So these are um, some kind of super soldier that doesn't get injured. They run to and fro in the city. They run on the wall and climb up upon the houses and enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth quakes before them. The heavens tremble. The sun, moon and the stars will go dark. And the Lord will utter his voice before his army. So to me, the sun, moon and stars going dark. I don't know what that sounds like to you Robert but that makes me think of volcanoes going off or of nuclear war. I know that when Mount Krakatoa went off in I think it was the fifth century at the beginning of the dark age there was about 10 years of darkness over Europe and so just one volcano, very big volcano going off could make a very big difference. Now we're in the ring of fire here in the South Pacific. There's volcanoes all around and if you get, you know, say for example, there's a nuke that lands in that seabed, that could easily set off uh, a lot of volcanoes. So I'm just trying to um, highlight, you know, the kind of events that we might be 
that we might be looking at. So God gives this same Jonah call here. He says, turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garment and turn to the Lord your God for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger of great kindness and repents him of the evil. And then there's the call to blow the trumpet again, sanctify fast and call a solemn assembly. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the babies, let the bridegroom go out of his chamber and the bride out of her closet and let the priests and ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar and say spare your people O Lord don't give your heritage to reproach that the heathen should rule over them How, why should they say among the people where is their God now the good news is that God says if we do this God is going to supernaturally intervene okay so Australia America the UK you know there's Africa, there's lots of nations that are part of the UK. God has promised if we do this, he will supernaturally intervene. He will remove far off from us the northern army, drive it into the land barren and desolate with his face towards the east sea and his hinder part toward the utmost sea. And it says, don't be afraid, O land. God is going to do great things. And so God has promised that he will intervene if we do this. So I want everyone, this is a heads up of what's coming and what we need to do. And um, the time that we've, uh, that we've arrived at now is, is mentioned in Joel chapter 3, which is about the mark of the beast. So this is all coming. The mark of the beast will come first. That will authorize them. It will give them the authority to bring in this final takeover and the takeover now as we've read there's no real war by one nation against another anymore all the nations have been taken over by mystery Babylon the Great so there is no real war of Russia against the Ukraine there is no real war of China against America they're all working together and it, the whole agenda is the destruction of civilization. And so what's coming is, um, I'm just going to read it. Um, Let the heathen be wakened and come to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit to judge all the heathen around about. Put in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. So we know that the jab was rolled out by Mr. Fauci and his name in Latin means sickle. So this is a reaping of a harvest by Anthony Fauci by the, the jabs. The jabs is a harv is a is a um, a putting in of a sickle. It is a harvest of the Grim Reaper. But God also is putting in, in his sickle, which we read about over in Revelation chapter 14. Revelation 14 tells us, um, and I'll read it to you because this is, this is the work that I'm um, doing and the message that I'm giving. Revelation 14 says, verse 14, And I looked and behold a white cloud, and on the cloud sat one like the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. So we have corona, we have the crown, and we have the sickle. So uh, the coronavirus, and you've got the sickle with the jabs. It's very interesting, isn't it? It's all there right in the verse. And it says, um, the Son of Man having a crown on his head and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in your sickle and reap, for the time has come for you to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. Now this call to run to the mountains is the call, this is actually the reaping of the harvest. So the harvest is the wheat, Jesus says the wheat and the tares grow together until the harvest. In Matthew 13 he says the harvest is the end of the world and the reapers are the angels. I've shared the three angels messages, they reap the harvest. But this specific message to go to the mountains is the sharp sickle that actually cuts down the grain. So all those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life will hear this message 
and they will go to the mountains. They will leave the cities and they will go. So that is God's reaping of a, of a harvest. This is God's reaping of a harvest. So I just want to encourage everybody, get to safety. God's going to protect his people in the mountains. Um, yes, there is going to be nuclear war and the angels are going to come and take us from the mountains to caves where the angels will feed us with food and manna until Jesus comes. So there is a bit more to the story and I'm just sharing with you the very end part of the story. Um, and so God's got it all. He's got the whole story. I have shared the book, The Great Controversy, before. Um, Robert and I encourage everybody uh, to contact me on News Decoded by email and I'll gladly send you out a great controversy for free and that's got the rest of the story and it's got um, the good news of how Jesus does plan to deliver everybody who, who wants to take refuge in him and in his counsel. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.